number one. The darkness was complete. I could feel the tightness in my chest, the shortness of breath. I tried to calm myself, to slow my racing heart. I couldn't. Panic was setting in, a cold sweat on my skin. I tried to take a step, but my foot caught on something, and I stumbled. I reached out for something to hold on to, but my hand met nothing but air. I started to fall, the blackness engulfing me. And then I woke up. Number two. I was always a bit of an outsider. I never quite fit in with the other kids, and I was always picked on. So when I was approached by a group of kids my age who wanted to show me something in the woods, I was excited. I followed them into the woods, and they showed me a cave. They told me that it was a place where the monsters lived, and they were going to show me how to make them come out. I was terrified, but I also couldn't resist the temptation. They showed me how to make the monsters come out, and I watched as they emerged from the cave. But the monsters weren't what I expected. They were my classmates dressed up in monster costumes. They had been playing a trick on me, and I was the only one who had fallen for it. Number three. I always loved reading Stephen King novels, but I never realized how scary they could be until I read them myself. One night, I decided to stay up late and read one of his books. I was so engrossed in the story that I didn't realize how late it had gotten. I was in the middle of a scary scene when I heard a noise outside my window. I thought it was just the wind, but when I looked out the window, I saw a figure standing outside. I was so scared that I couldn't move and I just watched as the figure slowly approached my window. When it was right outside, I saw it was a clown. I screamed and threw the book at the clown and it ran away. I was so scared that I couldn't sleep the rest of the night. And we never heard about that clown again. Number four. When I was younger, my family and I went to visit my grandparents for the weekend. My grandfather had just installed a new security system in their house, and he was very excited to show us how it worked. The security system was very complicated, and my grandfather had to show us how to use it several times before we left. He warned us that the system was very sensitive, and that we needed to be careful when using it. We were all very excited to try out the new security system, and we couldn't wait to see how it worked. That night, we all went to bed, and my grandfather set the system to armed. I was the last one to go to bed. I was lying there, in bed, staring at the ceiling when I heard a noise in the hallway. I was scared, but I didn't want to get out of bed, so I just laid there, listening. I heard the noise again, and this time I knew it was someone trying to open the door. I was so scared that I didn't know what to do, so I kept laying there and waited for the intruder to come in my room. When the intruder finally came into my room, I saw that it was my grandfather. I was so relieved that it was just him, but I was also very confused. I questioned why he was trying to come into my room, and he just laughed and said that he was testing the security system. Number five. I was walking home from work one night when I saw a man walking towards me. He was covered in blood, and he had a crazy look in his eye. As he got closer, I could see that he was holding a knife. So I started to run, but he caught up to me, and he stabbed me in the back. I collapsed to the ground, bleeding to death. As I lay there, I saw the man walk away laughing. And then I realized it was all just a nightmare. Number six. The thing about the internet is, you can never be sure who or what is on the other end. You could be chatting with your friend or you could be talking to a serial killer. I learned this the hard way. I was on my computer chatting with my friends when I received a message from an unknown person. The message was just a link, so I clicked on it. And as soon as I did, I regretted it. The link brought me to a website that showed a live video of a woman being tortured. 
She was tied to a chair, and a man was cutting her with a knife. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I wanted to look away, but I couldn't. I was glued to the screen, watching in horror as the woman screamed and bled. The man then took the knife and cut her throat. I screamed, and then I fainted. When I woke up, I was in my own bed. I had no idea how I got there. I was scared and I didn't want to go back on the internet, but I knew I had to. I had to find who had sent me that link. I was determined to find out the identity of the person who had tortured and killed that woman, and I was going to make them pay. And then maybe I'll have a link to share. Number 7 Once there was a family of four who lived in a small house in the country. The family consisted of a father, a mother, a daughter, and a son. The father was a farmer and the mother stayed at home to take care of the children. The daughter was 12 years old and the son was just 6. One day the father went out to the field to work and the mother was in the house with the children. The daughter was in the kitchen making dinner and the son was playing in the living room. Suddenly the son heard a loud noise outside. He went to the window to see what was happening and he saw a large black dog attacking his father. The son ran to the kitchen to get his sister and they both ran outside to help their father. The dog was attacking him so viciously that they couldn't get close. The father was screaming for help and the son ran back into the house to get his mother. The mother came outside and saw the dog attacking her husband. She started screaming for help and the daughter came outside with a knife. She stabbed the dog in the neck and it ran away. The father was bleeding badly and the mother called for an ambulance. The ambulance arrived and took the father to the hospital. After three days of intensive care, the father regained his strength, but it was strength like nothing they had ever seen before. And upon the first full moon, when the father took form of a werewolf, he destroyed his family.